And this news continues tracking Dorian tonight. Take a look at this. It's a view from the International Space Station. It just shows how big this storm really is. The Category 5 hurricane has already devastated parts of the northern Bahamas, and now people living along the Atlantic coast of Florida are watching closely as it heads their way. Eyewitness News reporter Tori Goshi spoke with a Massachusetts native living in that part of Florida and spent much of the day with his family preparing for the worst. Jeremy Savard is a native of Uxbridge, Massachusetts. Now he calls Palm City, Florida home, which is about 45 miles north of West Palm Beach. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yes. I mean, you wouldn't think uh, anything coming on. Along with Jeremy, his wife Tori and their daughters are preparing for the worst that Hurricane Dorian could bring. I mean, honestly, the preparation uh, has been going on since probably mid last week, um, just as far as getting supplies. As Hurricane Dorian churns across the Bahamas, Tori is paying close attention. We all woke up to the new models this morning and just hit the ground running to make sure that 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 was a you know we weren't running on a false sense of security there. The Savards have been through multiple storms. They say they will not ride out this one. And we are headed out of town for the sole reason that I don't want my children to have the impact of the, the traumatic noise that comes from going through a hurricane. Hurricane shutters cover windows, items have been raised off the floor, priceless possessions have been packed. And daughter Aubrey writes this Bible verse on the garage door. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds beat and blew against the house, yet it did not fall because it was built on a foundation of the rock. After seeing the damage in the Bahamas, the Savards say they are ready and remind us all to have faith and things can be replaced. In the control room, I'm Tori Goshi, Eyewitness News. Tori asked the Savard's daughter what keepsake items she's taking with her, and here's a hint, it's not any electronic. You can hear her answer right now on WPRI.com and on our WPRI 12 News app, and also learn how the community they say there is all coming together ahead of the storm.